Are you feeling embarrassment or are you feeling shame? I'm gonna talk about the differences between these two negative emotions, how to understand the differences and why it's important to know the differences. The first difference between embarrassment and shame is that embarrassment is about solely what you did or didn't do or what you did or didn't say versus shame is more about who you are as a person because of something that you did or didn't do. Embarrassment always has to do with something interpersonal. Either you are feeling self-conscious. Think about it. If you were tripping in public, you would stop and you would feel embarrassed and you would look around to see if anybody saw you. But if you're at your home alone and nobody is seeing you and you trip inside your house, you're not gonna feel embarrassed. A lot of times, embarrassment is called the self-conscious emotion. It's all about how we're concerned about how we're coming across to others. And no matter how confident someone is, there's still a degree of self-consciousness. So everybody, even people who are super ultra confident, have experienced embarrassment. Shame, however, is from this guilty feeling, and you know that it goes against who you are at your core. It goes against your values, so you start feeling guilty, and as a result, you start feeling shame. Shame is from the emotion that comes from disgust, and what's even worse is you're disgusted with yourself. So this would be something like if you are an honest person and you cheat on an exam or you cheat on another person and you start feeling shame because you know that you're guilty and you know that it goes against your values to be honest. So embarrassment is more about something that's innocent. It doesn't go against your values, whereas shame is more about guilt because it has gone against your values. How do you tell the difference in body language? Because these are negative emotions where we're feeling negative about ourselves, but with embarrassment, the eyes are usually cast downward and off to the side, and sometimes we'll even smile. We'll try to cover up a smile because we know that we've embarrassed ourselves. Whereas somebody who is experiencing shame will not only look down, but sometimes they'll, they'll actually cover their face because they're trying to hide because they do feel guilty. A lot of times they'll turn their body inward because they start to feel bad about themselves. Now, what about responding to whenever you feel embarrassment versus if you're feeling shame? Embarrassment is usually something lighter. Like I said, it's something innocent. And so you can usually laugh it off. In fact, Regina Brett has a quote of saying, don't take yourself so seriously, no one else does. I have to remind myself of this all the time because I hate to be embarrassed. But I have to remember that because I'm feeling embarrassed a lot, it's because I'm really taking myself so seriously. I've got a video that talks about specific ways to respond when you do embarrass yourself. So be sure to check that out above and in the description below. With embarrassment, because it is innocent, you can actually just call it out and say something like, well, that was embarrassing. With shame, however, because it is something that's more about you feeling bad about who you are, then that's worth diving into to really think about why did I do or say this certain thing or not do or say this certain thing that goes against my values? So really taking some time to understand that. And with shame, you want to find people that you trust to be able to confide in them what you're feeling guilty or shameful about. The problem with shame is we tend to hide. We want to hide it because we're feeling so ashamed about ourselves. Don't keep shame a secret. However, don't just announce it out there to the world. Find people that you can trust to help you get through it. Have you discovered some effective ways to get past embarrassment or shame? If so, share those in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching.